So one of the things we're going to do is, uh, as we type something here, we're then going to just uh, have our um, Explorer window open and just uh, use F5 to refresh to see what the changes are uh, once we've saved them here. So we know that um, within our form, we've got the three questions which are in an ordered list. So uh, using the sheet with the HTML tags that uh, you've already got, uh, what we're going to do is add in uh, the fact that we have got an ordered list. So we need an ordered list, uh, two tags, an opening one and a closing one. And uh, within this list, I'm just going to type in um, the, uh, the name of a, a question. So what is... Um, actually, before I, before I type the name in, uh, I'm going to set up an ordered list and then the question is going to be a list item. So I'm just going to use the li tag to type in uh, the question within that. So uh, what what is IP? Okay, let's just keep that very simple. And then I'm going to have another question. So I've typed uh, all of my three questions in an ordered list and then made each question sit within the list tags and what happens is if I refresh my browser so just F5 to refresh it then what we should see so just had to go back and, and save my uh, quiz otherwise it, it wasn't obviously showing anything because uh, so we'll see these as uh, an ordered list uh, ordered list basically puts numbers in front of them and then we we need to put in the options for each one of these and, and so they are also going to be list items so if we go back to our uh, HTML then um, within here I'm going to have an, unor uh, an unordered list UL so because my three options are going to be held within an unordered list and each option is going to sit within a list so maybe the first option is um, the right answer. So I've put all my options within a list. So this is an unordered list. And an unordered list basically means, well, don't put numbers in front of it. So I've saved it here. So if I go to Internet Explorer, F5 to refresh. So there, there's a bullet point list uh, without any numbers on for our options. So now to make these into radio buttons, what we need to do is go back to our code here. So if I take my first list, it isn't just a list, it's also going to be an input. So if I put an input tag in front of it and uh, a closing input tag, there's obviously a more efficient way of closing it, but if we just do that for now. Now on your sheet, it actually says what the uh, there's a column for attributes and attributes means that you can give values to this particular input and so what we're going to say is that this input um, the type of the input is equal to radio because it's a, a radio button and we're just going to do that for now and just see what that does so if we save it go to Internet Explorer and refresh this, so F5 to refresh, then what happens is it becomes a, a radio option. So at the moment I can't select it or anything like that, but it's, it's, it's got a radio option in front of it. We're not going to be able to get rid of these unless we use CSS, which I'm not going to go into. But um, So if we go back again, one other uh, attribute that we need to add to this is we need to give it a name and for this for the name I'm just going to call this um, question one and we put the name in quotes and if we give it some kind of value um, and at the moment I'm just going to give it the value correct now I'm, I'm giving uh, giving it the value here because this is the correct answer so I'm going to use value to put correct and incorrect next to each one of these. So let's just save this, go back to uh, our Internet Explorer and refresh that. So 
So I've just had to uh, go into developer tools for Internet Ex Explorer using F12, or you can, I think you can use the file menu. Um, but, and one of the settings under document mode is to basically change it to Internet 9 Explorer standards. So I've done that and then closed this, gone back and refreshed it. So just F5 to refresh. And now it's actually letting me make a selection of the buttons. So I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to do that for the others. So I'm going to put input type in and then I'm going to just do the value um, uh, incorrect actually or wrong for those ones. Uh, so I've, I've just uh, changed, uh, put in the input types for the other ones. I just copied and pasted the, t the text from above. The name is exactly the same. The value of these two is wrong because the answer is incorrect and we're going to use that later. And then I've got the closing input tags here. So if we now save this and then uh, refresh F5, then what happens is it will only allow us to choose. Ah, oh, that's a bit weird. So um, it should only allow us to choose one. So I've just got to go back and have a look at my code. Um, oh, and I've miss. I'm just missing the equal sign here. So name equals name equals and name equals, and then we need value equals and equals and equals. Okay, so let's just save this and go back F5 and now it should only allow me to make one choice which is what the uh, radio button is if you wanted it to uh, make more choices then you'd use instead of type radio you'd use to, um, check boxes instead of radio buttons okay so in the uh, I'm just going to finish off by putting in the options for all of the other ones because they're going to be exactly the the same as uh, the ones we've put in apart from uh, for those other options the name will be Q2 for the three options for this and for the third question the name will be Q3